chat hello world hello fans of the stream fans of oh it's done it oh it's on it's on wow fans it is, and fans. Yeah. go us oh the dead liver he has the darwin nickels oh, darwin Welcome. nickels for him he is yeah. on, he is the first we had a uh, advance notice that sakram salma wouldn't be able to make it it's a typical winner yes. but that means five darwin nickels to the dead liver I hope your liver is doing all right. I don't really want to be in the position to have a dead one. Yeah, that would not be fun. Also, I think it's ten, isn't it? Is it ten? Five? I'm pretty sure it's five. Because we took half of Sakram Salma's one, one day, and it was five, and gave them two sums. Damn, Dr. Celery's Oh, Dr. Celery. We'll give Dr. Celery two, because he's cool. All right, and, yeah. And Sphered Buckle. We'll give you all two. <laughs> yes. While um, no. Sakram Salma's not here, you all get Darwin Nichols. Yeah, don't tell Sakram Salma. He won't be happy. But. Turning off the sound there. We're back with another chapter. Another rendition of the John Marsh story. Yeah. Oh, and it's almost like we were just talking to you guys like a few minutes ago. Yeah, oh, it feels weird. like it. Last Monday, seconds ago. Yeah. Really? <laughs> well, uh, do we have any any words yeah. to tell chat, or are we? Uh... What was your what was your mentality going into this chapter? You think? I think it was mainly like, hey, let's get the story on the on the road, you know? Because we're we're, okay, we're yeah. thinking about you know a month from now things are gonna wrap yeah. up about yeah. how we've planned it. So I'm like, you know what? I gotta get things on the move on, and I kind of was like stuck on how to advance it very far. So I, I ended up writing a rather short chapter. Alright. What would you do if I started being the one to push side threads now? I would cry. <laughs> very hard. Okay. Okay. Very, very hard. I mean, I would appreciate it, but I would cry very hard. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well? Well, with that said, what will you be playing tonight? What? Da-da-da-da the game I was playing last time. Now I wanted to show you guys uh, while oh, yeah, yeah. off stream I had finished the one I did last time. Um, I was very proud of it. It actually took me god it was a couple classes on like a Wednesday. So it was it was a good couple hours but it was it was worth it. And it looks rather lovely as you can see Patrick Starr and Kirby are in it. And oh, it's he, very nice. He looks like a dollar bill. Very nice. So now we're going to do Night Sky. Ooh, Night Sky. It's like Starry Night, but without the stars. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's rather interesting, isn't it? Where'd they all go? Uh, probably light pollution. Yeah. All right. Well. With that news. Chapter... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chapter 14 we're on now. Woohoo. Exciting stuff. As we exited, Fritz seemed to stop right in his tracks, completely entranced by his own thoughts. Say, John, do you have a bike? No, I usually like to walk places, but I have Shulman's car with me if you want to ride in that. Fritz looked very confused. Shulman? Shulman who? Oh, did I forget to mention Marissa by name? The woman I'm looking for is named Marissa Shulman. Well, I'm not really looking for her, more looking for the people responsible for her death. Do you think that this 22 high peak has the answers you're looking for, John? I sighed. Unfortunately, I don't know. From what I heard from the piano people, they thought that the people at high peak knew what happened. Shulman seemed to have a connection to most of these groups. I don't truly understand how, but at this point it doesn't seem to matter. I just want justice for Shulman. Fritz, Fritz stood silent for a moment, looking up at the fluffy, bright fluffy clouds dancing overhead. Seems like you had a deep connection to this Shulman woman. Did you know her personally? I chuckled. Nah, I just saw how much the cops botched the search. I knew that better had, I knew that better had to be done so people wouldn't fear for their daughters. All I want is for this case to be closed. Fair enough, Fritz said. Hmm. 
we both quickly realized that we'd been standing around aimlessly in the parking lot of the diner for a couple minutes now. I walked over to Shulman's car and began to start the engine. Fritz jogged over to a signpost where he had tied his bike. <laughs> the bike itself was in great condition, spotless from even a speck of rust. The tires were a different story. Fritz must be using some sort of tire that doesn't need inflation. Very interesting. So Kenyon, mm-hmm. right? You know, I assume I assume we're going off a bit of that. Uh, perhaps that that statement that these two are very much alike, right? Yes. Is Fritz afraid of cars too? I don't know if Fritz is afraid of cars. Maybe he's just a bike fanatic. Yeah. You know, well, that, that's why I ask. Maybe he just likes his bikes. I was just thinking that you know. They were going to have a, a little moment because neither of them could drive. Ah, uh, yes. Well, we, John has learned how to drive by himself over the course of the, the story. Yeah. But, well, when when we say that, you know, we kind of just skip around all the bad parts, don't we? That's very true. We do dance around the truth. Yeah. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear, but my cat is howling in the background. The Darwin Lord of Nichols himself. Yeah, yeah. Fritz began to tie his bike to the back of the car with a small strip of bungee cord. Oh, and he's just run by. After a couple minutes of him fiddling around, he popped open the passenger side door and jumped in the car. Fritz leaned to the dash. Take a left and drive for about ten minutes. We'll reach my place by then. I nodded and began to pull the car out of the parking lot. With my limited experience driving, this was actually quite harrowing. The very small gravel parking lot felt like a slippery cage. I just could not get the space of the traction I preferred to have in such a situation. Luckily, with my expertise, I took my time and only got a couple of dents in the bumper against the nearby dumpster. I took a left and sped down the road. Fritz began to fiddle with the radio, dialing through the channels very quickly. Most of the talking heads just ranted about how the president, about the president and how someone had shot him right in the chest. This didn't seem very newsworthy to me. I've been fine ever since I took the bullet. The president should be the type of man who could handle such a blow. Oh, are we on a list now? (laughs) What sort of list? (laughs) I don't know. Like, is the FBI going to be following us now? You know, John Marsh, he's worried about this uh, IRS. But, I don't know. Are 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 the IRS monitoring our stream? Right now? No, uh, IRS, if you're in chat, please plop, pop in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seems like an absence of the IRS from what I can tell of chat. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Well, you, you never know. They're sneaky bastards. True. I do want to be stalked one day. <laughs> Fritz began to... M- what? No, <laughs> Darwin! <laughs> oh, no. He's, he's chewing on my... My music. My sheet music. Oh, no. I don't... And Ruffage, Dr. I guess. says, I promise... He's, he promises that he's not, 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 not the IRS. Well, that's reassuring to hear. I don't know what it means, but it's reassuring. Yeah. I don't know if that's confirmation or not, but it is reassuring. Thank you, yeah. Dr. Celery. I mean, he does yeah, have yeah. a PhD. Yeah. He has to be trusted. Oh, well, yeah. Well, an MD. Oh, true. I actually do Dr. Celery, are you an MD or a PhD? That's a good question. What sort of doctor are you, Dr. Celery? Are you a doctor of journalism? Doctor of humanities? What is wrong with you, cat? I think you just... Uh, we don't answered, talk about that. You answered, you answered your own question about what I kind of did. Yeah, he's a cat. But they kind of like that. They just oh, and he's something. running up the stairs. Well, Dr. Celery, I won't question it as long as you don't ask me where I got my master's degree. That was behind a dumpster for chat. I just want to put that out there. Yeah. Fritz began to mumble to himself and quickly turned to me. Is this not the craziest thing you've ever heard? I laughed. You were lucky enough to miss the flight to the Pacific, weren't you? Fritz nodded. Makes sense to me. If you were there like I was, you'd know taking a bullet really isn't a big deal. I survived one. Pretty much everyone I knew survived one. Fritz said in awe probably amazed. Only the top of my regiment survived a shot, let alone a shot to the head. I was top of my class. <laughs> Does he think that, like, 
surviving a bullet wound is a heritable trait, you think? Maybe. Maybe he just thinks he's just cool because he did. Maybe. He's proud of himself. You know, I guess he has some right to be, uh, in spite of the outcome. He did survive a bullet to the head. There he is, did there survive. Is, <laughs> yeah. There's that, but... There's I mean, something survive, to that. Survive is a... Strong, strong word, maybe. He was a changed man after. He was the same cells and organism, but... Yeah. Survived, uh, you know. Yeah. Tough to say. <laughs> The roads were rather slippery, or at least they must have been. Cars kept on swerving around us as I drove. <laughs> it seemed like I was the only one who could get any traction. Big change from the parking lot. I wondered if I was starting to get the hang of this whole driving thing. Or maybe I was just so above the curve of proficiency. They probably should give me a license right by now. After a couple minutes, Fritz directed me to turn down a small gap in the trees. Didn't seem like much of a road, just a cleared path but it worked enough. We were being viciously tossed about, but the car didn't seem to stall. Another ten minutes down the winding grassy path, we ended up at what I would have to describe as a shack. A couple of pieces of wood were nailed to a tree to make a sort of teepee, and a gas burner sat outside the small abode. It's just as I pictured it. <laughs> Before I could even park, Fritz jumped out of the car and scrambled towards the wooden teepee. <laughs> oh, Sphered Buckle, I'm sorry. Sphered Buckle, no. What happened? Uh, you know, there was a bit of a dialogue about how the president was getting shot and how, you know, John, you know, he got shot and he's fine. So the president should be fine, too. Exactly. That's that's about what you've missed. And they've got to Fritz's house. Yeah, they did. And he, he lives outdoors with a little teepee and a gas burner. And, you know, it's pretty cool. You could you could say it that way, friend. I can say it. I can say it any way I want. That's very true. That's very true. Uh. <laughs> you could say yeah. it's cool. I don't know if it is, but you yeah, yeah, definitely say that. Yeah. You know. Freedom you know, and I did. So it's pretty cool. Freedom of speech. <laughs> um, before I can even park. Fritz jumped out of the car and scrambled towards the wooden teepee. I put the car in park and hopped out. Fritz was already deep in his tent digging through things, so I felt it was polite to wait outside while he took care of finding the books. I leaned against the car and stood off into the woods that surrounded Fritz's house. It had been such a long time since I had the opportunity to go out in nature and be surrounded by it, and though now, and though now was work related, now it was work related. I think I might have mistyped that. It was, it was work related. <laughs> it was work related. Okay. Well, that's good. We're editing, proofreading. Oh, perfect. And though now it was work related, I was reminded of when my mother would bring us out to find food. <laughs> I do love myself some. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So. All right. So is this just just hunting, or it? Because like you know, in, in previous chapters, they have he has remarked that he had servants as a kid. The thing is, how do we know what he's saying is true? Oh, the old unreliable narrator, yeah. He uh, he did have a quite life-changing brain injury. He did. So we... Was the punishment basement even real? We don't know. We don't know. Pretty we nice life. just though. can't know. Yeah. <laughs> I do love myself some rabbit or squirrel stew. It's such a shame that the common diner or local inn doesn't have a single option for any game meats. Mother always made us eat something we killed that day. Took keep... Took keep the natural cycles going and made us tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, I was... Ah, daylight savings killed me, man. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah, I, I was not expecting that. I should have been on top of that more than I was. Uh, I don't know why, even. It's just like, oh, man, it hurts. It hurts really bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, as a younger kid, I used to not notice it, but now I really notice it. Yeah. We're talking, we're, we're talking like, I feel like we're in our 30s or something, but we're not. We're pretty much in our 30s. <laughs> 
Or like two thirds. Yeah, not, not much is gonna change between now and then, I guess. But I mean, for the two of us, probably not. We'll, yeah. we'll we'll get our office job and go from there. Yeah. Uh. One day, I remember we went after a cow of a neighbor she particularly hated. Mother well, always had a way with words to the police after any of our attacks. She really could make any excuse in the book. It was unfortunate she'd disappear for a month or so, most times after talking to them. However, it kept us strong, and that was really all that mattered. We were fed, too, better than what happened to these poor kids in the cities. Mother made sure we knew how fortunate we were. When I finally stopped staring off into the clouds, I saw Fritz crawling out of his small teepee. The sun had already set, and the small gas burner had a boiling pot set on top of it. He jogged over to me with gleeful chagrin. Wait, with a gleeful grin? No, a gleeful chagrin. <laughs> with gleeful chagrin, okay. I've got news! Found the place! Just about 20 miles down the interstate, and it's a couple turns away. I was stunned. After so much time, so much work, a real answer about the fate of Shulman was about to be uncovered. It was almost as if, for once in my life, I was the hero. We both stood there for a second, staring at each other. Fritz broke the silence. I've got some mac and cheese on the stove if you want any. No, I think I'll pass. I wanted to eat his mac and cheese, but I felt I might as well let Fritz eat. As the older of the two of us, I had to support our future generation. I'm just going to bed. Fritz shrugged. Suit yourself. There's some spare blankets in the house. Make yourself warm. <laughs> It's weird, Buckle. What, what are you saying what to? I don't know what's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying what to? Well, what, what's the confusion? Is this yeah, about yeah. The blankets? It's, in this, in it's pretty, pretty clear to me. <laughs> Gotta wait for chat here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The most painful. To, to support, support the future family. Well, well, you know how it is, you know? Fritz is like a few years younger than John is. Well... Gotta, gotta support the young ones. Yeah, gotta support. You never know. This dude is going to start a family. Well, he has fallen in love before. He has, at one time. That we know of. That we know of. Okay. I don't know, I think at one, in one of the, these chapters he did say, the only woman I've ever loved. Probably. I think, I think that's what happened. You know, I didn't want to go there, Ren, but it's probably true. Yeah. I don't want to do that to our man, John. But. Mm -hmm. Say lovey. Yeah. Well, you, you never know, right? Mr. Amnesia could pull that off. You never know. <laughs> True love is anywhere. It, yeah, it really is. And even so called Mr. Amnesia could maybe find it one day. Maybe. <laughs> I walked over to the teepee and found a couple of spare rags to cover myself with. I fell asleep listening to Fritz chat to himself about his mac and cheese. <laughs> and there we go. That's chapter 14, everyone. Chapter 14. That was quite a trip. Quite quite a journey. Yeah. Fritz's mac and cheese. So, Kenyon, how long do you think Fritz has been living out like this? His whole life, probably. Well, his whole adult his whole life. life. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, you think he's hunting for Bigfoots? I think he's just batshit crazy and can't pay rent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you think he even has a job? No. God, no. Do you think John... I mean, John had a job. Now he did. I mean, now he's self-employed, so that's well, pretty cool. I, I mean... Or, well, he has to, but he doesn't. He does. That's maybe that's why the IRS are chasing him. You know, maybe he finally realized that. Oh, I have to, you know, be an adult and figure out how to pay taxes, and he just didn't. Yeah. He just never figured that out. <laughs> At one point, maybe. Well, no, because he would have been drafted when he was eighteen. Mm -hmm. So he he never had an, a real adult life. No. No, he never had a real anything besides. <laughs> Yeah. This deep, deep foreboding sadness. Yeah. I think that's oh god very touching in a way. Yeah. Oh man. 
You know, when you say it like that, it, it almost sounds profound. Oh no, God no. This is a story about a man who eats <laughs> mac and cheese, my friend. <laughs> this, this is not a profound tale. This is... Yeah. Uh, mac and cheese is quite profound, but I'm not gonna... Can be, yeah. Can be, is. It's the most profound yeah, yeah. dish ever made. Yes. What What if you use the stinky cheese man cheese for it? I, I wonder what happened. What do you think, Chet? Do you think that would be palatable, potable? Do you think? Potable's for water, so no. <laughs> but do you think it would be palatable? Would you Would you take a bite of Stinky Cheese Man mac and cheese? That is a very good question. Because I, I probably not. probably not. No. Not even for the experience, nope. you know. Doctor Celery says yes. But so Dr. Celery I mean, do anything. we've got a bit of disagreement in the chat here. Doctor Celery would do. Anything he felt like. He would. He's a he's a man who does what he wants. Yeah, like uh, like play the town with no name. Like, oh, what a beautiful beautiful game. Beautiful, beautifully acted, voice acted. Beautifully everything. I can't even tell that they're from England and not the 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 old west. You sure they're from England? I'm pretty sure they, you know, got people who were like authentic. You know. You heard the bartender, right? Oh yeah. I'm sure. Are you kidding me? That sounds authentic to me. Okay. It's how I speak. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely how you speak. I can hear it now. The lilt. The the drawl, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, give me a drink, bartender. You know, it just rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> yeah. Don't no name in the next stream. Um... I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do, but no. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say no. Wow, really shooting down the fans like that? The true fans? You know, I, I, you know, someone has to. You know? I did. I did as well, so I'm not going to play. You me. did? Or Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I might play Mr. Krabs over there. Like if it doesn't take our Twitch channel down, I will play if, it. Yeah. Well, we're not actually making any money off of this, so on what grounds could they take it? True. I mean, obscene content? I guess. That's the argument they could make, but... Uh, Maybe. Fuck them, you know? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're too cool for that. We're too cool for school. Or something. We're just so damn cool and awesome. And epic. Oh, yes, Chat very. Epic. <laughs> yes. Chat, any um, questions? Any comments? Yes. You guys any questions? Make? Any questions? Questions are important. Gotta ask things. It's important stuff, chat. <laughs> you know, it, it was pretty tame, but I, I mean, it was pretty good, too. It was tame, but it, as Dr. Zeller says, I think it was pretty cool and epic. Cool and epic. What will happen next? You know, man, what will happen you know, next? What happens in my when I get in my writing chair up in my room? It's a nice wicker chair. I don't know. I just can't say. It it, it just happens because it's like I get out of the shower and I go there and you know everything just glazes over. <laughs> you just fall asleep and wake up and there's a chapter. Yeah. How many pages is the book now? A hundred five. A hundred five Google Doc pages, mind you. Yeah, yeah. Like real, real pages. Yeah. That's some phony pages. Pretty, pretty cool. You know, we're we're getting to the stratosphere, to the length of an actual book length. Yeah. God, do you think anyone in their right minds would publish this? No. Real authors, you know, I. I think that's a bit of an insult to authors everywhere, but I'll take it. Yeah, you know, we gotta take the ones we can get. Yeah. <laughs> no need to insult ourselves. <laughs> we gotta take our wins. Alright? Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get you. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what you come up with next. It's gonna be heart wrenching. Emotional. Yeah, yeah. Uh, John's going to die. <gasps> That's exciting. Yeah, but don't tell anyone. That's a spoiler. Yeah, I won't. I'm not sure I when I say John, I don't mean John Marsh, though. Yeah. Well, since, you know, 
He's not been up to any good things. And we know he's not in chat right now, so he's going. Yeah. Gotta be in chat. This is like well, you know, I might chat. already have assassinated him. You never know. You never know with that, that Ren guy. You never know. <laughs> no way, chat. No way. No way. No way. How are the pixels going? Oh, quite fantastically. It looks like a poop sky. But, That's pretty good. I mean, you know, chat, I think this is a lot of progress. I think I've done well. I think I've done my duty as... Yeah, that's like half the thing already. Yeah, I mean, not really, because there's like a couple... Like, there's... like I don't know, there's just a lot. <laughs> right. There's a lot. Everything that still has a number is still something I need to color, so it's, it's going to be a while. But... We'll see if I complete it before next stream or not. Oh, it's 45% done. Holy. Ah, uh, cool. Well, we'll see if I have it done by next stream. Yeah, yeah. But before then, before next stream, we have to end this stream. We do. Well, I mean, we could do a thing where, like, never-ending stream. That'd be pretty I think I'd pretty lose, crazy. My, lose my... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'd lose it, bro. I don't know if I could oh, survive. I could done I've heard of people like doing for, forty-eight hour streams. I don't know how you do that. Yeah, I, I would rather just not. But for now, we have completed our our little well bite size, you know, TV yeah, episode yeah. of a stream. Chat, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed. I think I'll have to write another hundred pages for the next all chapter. month stream, sleep stream, twenty-four hour stream. You know, maybe no one day, one day. I will find a camera and just stream myself sleeping. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Uh huh. Well, chat. All right. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you guys yes. next episode. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter.